This is the BlackBerry Key2 LE. And if you join me in thinking that this was just another color coding for the Key2, it's not. Oh, this is a very different offering that's now being dubbed the icon for all. And let me explain to you why. Reporting from IFA in Berlin, I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now, and let's go hands on. So if the Key 2 is the BlackBerry Bold of back in the day, the Key 2 LE is like the curve pretty much. The aluminum finish of the Boulder sibling is now replaced for a polycarbonate finish you wouldn't be able to tell by holding it. I mean, there's also the signature stippled back, now with a tint of blue depending on the color option. Seriously, the feel of this phone is pretty much like a Key 2 in almost every way. Yes, the colors are now atomic, champagne, and slate, with atomic red being my favorite. Aside from the changes in materials, the internals are different. We have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 636 down from the Snapdragon 660 on the Key 2, with 4 gigs of RAM and options for 32 or 64 gigs of expandable storage. There's a 3000 mAh battery down from a 3500 power pack on the Key 2, but with Quick Charge 3.0 still being supported, which is great. The display panel is the same 4.5 inch IPS LCD at 1620 by 1080 and the capacitive buttons below still remain the same. The signature BlackBerry keyboard is actually slightly smaller than the Key 2, but still larger than the Key 1, which is also something I praise. It lacks the capacitive functionality for scrolling, but the fingerprint scanner is still in the spacebar and you can still program the keys for shortcuts. And for those of you that fell in love with the speed key, no worries, it is still here. A neat party trick is that you can now set the convenience key to work with the Google Assistant like Push to Talk, where you press and hold for as long as you want the Google Assistant to listen. And no worries, the option is reaching the key to in the future software update, we just don't know when. We are still running on Android 8.1 Oreo under BlackBerry Security Focus Skin, which means that all the applications and services you enjoyed from the siblings are also being offered here, and the experience is actually fluid. It doesn't really feel like if you're using a phone with lesser specifications. The camera is also different, now with 13 megapixels in the primary shooter and 5 megapixels on the secondary, serving now as a depth sensor instead of telephoto. The selfie camera continues to be of 8 megapixels and fixed focus, though our verdict of these will really have to depend on whenever we review the product, as we know the Key 2 didn't do really well in this department. And if you're asking yourself why the Key 2 exists, well, it has really to do with two things. Number one, it's lighter, nearly 12 grams less than the Key 2. So for those of you looking for an easier to handle BlackBerry, this is a great option, even if I didn't find the Key 2 to be too heavy. And the second really is the price tag. I mean, our biggest complaint with the Key 2 was the $650 that it retailed for, where the Key 2 LE is more around less than $499, though we're still waiting to confirm that. Whether it's worth it or not is still hard to confirm, but you bet that we will have our review unit soon to tell you more. While that happens, remember our IFA coverage from Berlin still begins, so make sure you follow us on social media and subscribe to our channels for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.